Hi everybody, it's Norma here. How are you today? It is Friday, January the 21st, and we're about to start a yoga nidra practice this afternoon. So if you've arrived, please go ahead and gather up all your cozy things. Just checking to make sure my phone is turned off. And um, if you haven't done yoga nidra before, don't worry that I will guide you through the entire pro process. You really are just gonna be laying in Shavasana for the whole time, it is a meditation and um, we'll get started in just a moment. So welcome. And if you're joining at a later time, uh, this is a great opportunity to do this type of class, um, maybe on your way to bed or um, just maybe on a Sunday night before work starts for the next week. So let's begin. Taking a few minutes to allow yourself to arrive here. So you need a yoga mat and pillow, your head, maybe even a couple of blankets. Anything that will make you cozy and comfortable. We are gonna be laying on our mats for the next 45 minutes. And it's okay if uh, you fall asleep during this practice. That means you needed sleep. And yoga nidra is yogi sleep. So it's a very restorative practice that um, can renew and restore you. So let us begin. So finding your way down to your mat, taking anything that you want for your practice with you. Putting on your socks, finding your blanket. And don't rush this process. Take all the time that you need to find the perfect spot for you to be able to enjoy this experience for the next 45 minutes. If you have an eye pillow or a face cloth with you, um, sometimes putting something over your eyes just lets you have that opportunity to go more inwards. Um, but if you don't have that available to you, that's okay. So slowly transitioning yourself here, finding just the perfect spot as I said. So for the next 45 minutes, you'll be guided through the ancient practice of Yoga Nidra. Know that there is nothing needed of you for this practice and you can't do Yoga Nidra wrong. During the practice, keep your concentration on my voice. Let it be your anchor, your beacon throughout the entire practice. And as I said earlier, you may find yourself drifting off or losing track of my voice, and that's okay. And even if you fall asleep, don't worry about that. That's okay. Your body just needed some sleep. If we were doing this practice together, I might gently tickle your toe and safely bring you back. Remember that you are safe here and give your permission to yourself to feel all the feels here. Welcome in every experience, every sensation, every emotion or thought that might come through without trying to change it or make anything happen. Just take what you want from the practice and leave the rest. Know that the experience that you were meant to have today is the experience that you were meant to have. 
Let's take an inhale breath together in through your nose. Exhaling, sigh, let it all go. Let your bones become heavy. Begin to feel the parts of your body that are connected to your mat. The back of your head, your shoulders, the torso. Feel the parts of your body that are connected there. Let yourself become heavier and heavier as you relax and begin to let go. May you arrive here knowing that you're completely safe and feeling that connection to Mama Earth below you. Allow yourself to land here. Let's take one more inhale breath together. Sighing it out. Allow yourself to soften even more, even more. Allow your awareness now to focus on the sounds and the space furthest away from you and the place that you are practicing. Now changing your focus to the sounds closer to you. And this may be the sound of your own heart beating. Bringing your attention to your breath now. Not changing anything, just awareness. Noticing the warmth of your breath as it enters your nostrils. Following your breath path as it fills up your chest and your belly. And allow your exhale to let go of anything that you may have brought here, any tension or heaviness that you might be holding on to. Perhaps you weren't even aware that you were holding on to something. Releasing any thoughts that may be on your mind. Can you let it go and soften even more? Knowing and seeing yourself in your mind's eye in this space. Being gently held by your yoga mat. Feeling that connection to Mama Earth. This little cocoon that you've made for your practice. Feeling safe. And remembering that you are safe here. Notice how you're feeling. Allowing a sense of peace to surround you in the space that you've made for your practice. Now allowing a breath to come in and out of your nose. And as if anything comes up through the practice, remember you can open your mouth and sigh, let it all go. In your mind's eye, can you imagine yourself in a secret sanctuary? A secret sanctuary that you get to create. It's a place where you can come back to at any time. It is a place where you get to create what you want there place where you can feel safe. So this may be a place in nature or the woods, perhaps the 
the ocean. Maybe a place that you visited and hope to return to someday. Maybe it's even a place in your home or a place that you get to create in your own imagination. You get to feel all the feels here. Just be. It's your special place. Take your time to allow your sanctuary to come alive for you, using all your senses to make it come alive. See how you're feeling. What do you hear here? Do you smell? Maybe there's someone there with you. Look around and notice all the things that make you know that this is your special place just for you. Allowing your attention to come to your heart now in the space around your heart. Take your time to notice how your heart is feeling today. Our journey today will provide an opportunity for you to connect with your heart, give you an opportunity to listen to your heart. And feel free to trust and follow what your heart has to say to you. Over the next few breaths, can you ask your heart this question? Heart, what is it that you need to be happy? What do I need to let go of to trust and follow my heart? By inviting in this intention, your sankalpa, your truth vow, as we begin our journey today, it will allow us to see our deepest truth and make this beautiful connection to our heart along the way. Allow your truth vow to come to you. There's no need to rush. If this is your deepest truth or intention, and it speaks directly to you from your unconscious mind, your heart knows what it wants. Listen to what your heart has to say to you. nothing is coming to you, try mine. I am free to trust and follow my heart. I am free to trust and follow my heart. Repeat your sankalpa to yourself in present tense three times. Your sankalpa may show up as an image or a symbol or a word. Say your sankalpa to yourself as though it is already true, this truth vow. I am free to trust and follow my heart.
are now going to scan parts of your body. I will say a body part. Please bring your attention to that body part. Feel any sensations that may be present there. And then release it as we move along. Your heart. Take your awareness to your heart. Imagine this beautiful flame originating in your heart space. As we move on to the other body parts, imagining this flame of your heart weaving through your body parts. Little golden flame. Bring your awareness to your mouth. Feel your mouth. Feel your tongue. The taste inside your mouth. Hello? 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 Your jaw, your top lip. your bottom lip, feeling the space around your mouth, feeling any sensations there. Feel your jaw. Allowing your jaw to relax. Maybe allowing your lips to part. Feeling your face. Space between your eyes. Your right eyebrow, your right eye. Left eyebrow, left eye. Feeling your nose now. Maybe feeling the warmth of the breath traveling in and out of your nose. Traveling back to your heart space, feeling your heart, maybe imagining that flame becoming a bit brighter as we move along. Moving to the right side of your body now, to your right hand, your right thumb, Right index finger, right middle finger, right ring finger, right small finger, feeling the front of your hand, feeling the palm of your hand. Feeling your whole right hand. Taking your attention now to your right wrist. Right lower arm. Right elbow. Right shoulder. 
feeling your whole right arm all together, whole right arm. Moving now to your left side of your body, your left hand, left thumb, left index finger, left middle finger, left ring finger, left small finger, feeling the back of your left hand, feeling the palm of your left hand. Now feeling your whole hand together, whole left hand. Left wrist. Left lower arm. Left elbow. Left upper arm. left shoulder now, and then feeling your whole left arm all together, the whole left arm. Traveling back now to your heart space, feeling your heart, seeing the flame, Maybe it's even brighter still now. Feeling the warmth of the flame, feeling up your heart space. And seeing that connection to your whole upper body. Bring your awareness down to your lower body now. Right hip. Right upper leg, right knee, right lower leg, right ankle, right toes, your whole right leg all together. Left hip, left upper leg, left knee, left lower leg, left ankle, left toes. Feeling your whole left leg all together whole left leg all together. And then one last time, coming back to your heart space. Imagining this space growing even brighter, filled with love and at peace, all connected in this beautiful nest that you've created within your whole body. Become aware of your body breathing, observing the flow of your breath as sensations come and go in your nostrils. And you see your chest and abdomen gently rising as your breath flows in and out. Just observing the breath, noticing and observing it, 
No need to change anything. Allow your body to breathe itself. the parts of your body where your breath touches it, noticing in the area that your breath may be feeling heavy or stuck, sending your breath there. your concentration to the space between your breaths. Between the inhale and the exhale. Perhaps noticing if your pause between your breath is becoming lengthened now. Observe where your breath is entering your body the warm sensations in your nostrils, in your throat as you exhale, perhaps even allowing the breath to pass through your lips, letting anything go that no longer serves you. your heart space, remembering that flame that you've ignited in your heart, feeding the flame with the breath, letting the glow from your heart fill you up. Your attention is still on my voice. We will now begin to feel different sensations in our body. I will say a word. Please feel the word completely. Maybe even imagining it on a screen in front of you. Allow yourself to be surrounded by any sensations that the word brings to you. And then we will move on. I'm going to ask ask you to please let a go of the word completely and move on and remember that at any time that you need to feel safe that your secret sanctuary is always available to you know that you are safe here know that you are safe to feel all the feels tranquil 
what does tranquil feel like? Let yourself feel tranquil. Feel tranquil in your body. Now allow tranquil to be let go. Allow it to dissolve away. Irritable. What does being irritable feel like? Where does that show up in your body? Experience feeling irritable. Maybe your heart is beating faster. Your breathing may feel heavier. What does irritable feel like? Now bring the feeling of tranquil back in and feel tranquil and irritable at the same time. Allow yourself to toggle back and forth from feeling tranquil and feeling irritable at the same time. Now allow these feelings to dissolve away, let them go completely. Trusting. How does trusting, feeling that you're trusting, feel up in your body? Let yourself feel trust within your body. Now let that go. Let it dissolve completely away. Mistrustful. What does mistrustful feel like for you? What sensations does feeling mistrustful feel like in your body? Do you feel angry or anxious? Bring the feeling of feeling trust together at the same time. Feel trust and mistrust. Experience those different emotions and sensations in your body at the same time. Now let that go, let them dissolve away. Open hearted. Can you allow yourself to feel open hearted? Allow your body to feel the sensations that feeling open hearted brings to you. Now let that go, let it go completely, let it dissolve away. Close hearted. What does close hearted feel like here? For you. Maybe feel cold. Maybe you feel distant. How does feeling close hearted to show up for you? Now bring back feeling open hearted and toggle back and forth from feeling open hearted and close hearted. 
at the same time, allowing yourself to experience those both those sensations. Now let it go, let it dissolve completely. Now we're going to start a journey. Imagine yourself standing outside in nature. It is a beautiful sunny day and you feel your bare feet on the earth. You feel connected and grounded. You are standing in an open meadow, surrounded by a beautiful forest. You tip your face upward, and you feel the warmth of the sun kissing your skin. And see the slight breeze causing the leaves of the trees to dance ever so softly. ever so softly. You hear the sweet sounds of birds filling the forest with a beautiful melody of harmony and peace. There's a smell of wildflowers in the air. So many beautiful flowers growing wild and free in the meadow. The smell of the different flowers filling your sensations with their delicate fragrance. As you look around, you marvel at the colors, the sizes, different shapes of the flowers. Nature's carpet just for you in this beautiful forest. You notice a clump of your favorite flower at the edge of the path leading deeper into the forest. And you stop to admire it. Your favorite flower. Enjoy the sights of it. Smell of it. And you decide to pick one of the flowers Carry it with you as you wonder where the path may lead to. You begin to walk along the path as it slowly begins to climb up a hill. Taking your time, you walk along the path. Feeling the connection of your feet to the earth, the warmth of the sun peeking through the canopy of the trees along the path. Near the top of the hill, you see a small opening in between the rocks. Curious, you see that the opening is a cave and you feel drawn to the cave and you walk towards it. Within the cave, you see a single lit candle. You realize that you've stumbled onto a sacred temple. You notice the delicate 
tinkling of bells from the wind chime just inside the opening of the cave. You take a moment to look around as your eyes adjust to the light. There is a beautiful carpet on the floor in front of the candle. And you sit down on this carpet, slowly taking in the surroundings of the sacred space. The walls are covered with different symbols. And there's a slight fragrance of wildflowers from the meadow wafting in the air. You hear the slight trickle of water, and you notice a fountain in the corner of the temple. The delicate tinkling of the bells from the wind chime coming and going with the breeze from the door. A sense of calm washes over you, and you feel at peace with all that is. And you allow your gaze to settle on the flame of the candle. In the middle of the flame, you see the purest golden sea, untouched by the flame. And as your gaze remains on the sea, it reveals itself to be a vision of you. It is you living the life that you'd love to be doing, a life that you'd like to be living. Take the time to see yourself here, experiencing the life that you'd like, the life that you deserve to be living. See yourself feeling happy, fulfilled, doing all the things that you'd like to do and are free to be doing. Use all your senses. Visualize yourself touching, hearing, speaking, feeling you being happy. Let the seed come to life for you. Take your time to create and allow yourself to experience the life that you'd like to be living. Bring your gaze back to the flame one last time. The seed is no longer in the flame. The seed is now in your heart. It has been planted there for you to remember your experience. It is part of you even when this journey ends. You begin your walk down the hill the flower that you picked from the meadow is still in your hand. Slowly, ever so slowly, bringing awareness back to my voice. Allowing yourself now to visit your truth bow your scent couple one last time and repeat it to yourself three more times.
trust and follow my heart. Let your truth fill up your entire heart space, full of shining light of happiness, fulfillment, and peace. Know that it is part of you, and you can return to this truth bow even after our practice is finished. It's your truth. Noticing your breath, seeing it begin to deepen and lengthen. Bring your awareness back to your body now, feeling yourself being supported by the mat and on the earth beneath you. Slowly beginning to become aware of the sounds once again in the space that you're practicing in. Those distant sounds. And the sounds closer to you. Imagining yourself in your cocoon here one last time or slowly inviting small movements to wake your body back up. Being ever so gently with yourself. Letting the light slowly come back into your eyes. Wiggling out your toes, your fingers, your wrists, your ankles. When you feel ready, slowly pushing yourself over to one side or the other, whichever is calling you. And staying in fetal position just for a breath or two, using your arm as a pillow. Just allowing yourself to soak in your practice. Taking anything that you may have experienced through your journey. And when you feel ready, pushing your hands, yourself up to a seat, bringing hands to heart center, Anjali Mudra, chin is bowed, gaze is lowered, or eyes are closed. Just taking a moment to thank yourself for being open for your experience today knowing that the experience that you had was the experience that you were meant to have. Thanking those who have come before us, for those who have shared in your journey, and for those yet to come. We bow our heads in honor, all by saying, Namaste. concludes your yoga nature practice. Thank you everybody. If we were in a room together, I would ask if you felt comfortable sharing a word. I'll share mine. It's actually two words today. New beginnings. So maybe you feel comfortable sharing a word and maybe that comfort is sharing it in a journal. So after yoga nidra or meditation practice, if you feel comfortable, taking the time to write down 
maybe remembering the experience that you had. It's always nice to look back on if that if that's something that you feel comfortable with in the future, looking back as you, you travel on your journey. So a few reminders, um, because this is a healing practice, you will feel um, refreshed from it, um, but it's very uh, beneficial to have a quieter um, evening after practicing yoga nidra. So if you still have to be out and about today, just making sure that you are back into your body, into this space before you carry on or drive a car. Taking a bath tonight or drinking lots of water, just having quiet time. It's not good to have long screen times after yoga nidra because of us going through our layer of consciousness. The blue lights from uh, the computers or your phones or your tablets can actually get you a little rubbed up. So it's kind of counterintuitive from what we're trying to do with the yoga nidra. Um, so it is a journey. If this is your first time experiencing yoga nidra, welcome. It is a brand new start, brand new year. And um, as I said, my word was new beginnings. So um, any feedback, any questions that you may have on this practice, you can um, send me a note or give me a call. My name is Norma if we haven't had an opportunity to meet yet. Uh, I am thankful for you to come and enjoy this practice. This is a practice that um, I have grown to truly love and it's a great way to calm your busy mind and rest and recoup. Um, if there's uh, things going on in your life, uh, benefits of yoga nidra are reducing stress, anxiety, depression can go on and on and on. It can help um, with sleep as well. This is um, a really great healing practice and it does get easier as um, you do. If you have never had a meditation pro practice, it does get easier the more you practice it. So um, please uh, reach out to me if you have any questions. And I hope to see you next time. I hope you have a lovely weekend. And namaste. Stay well.